Hello dear friends, good uh, evening, such a beautiful, beautiful evening. And uh, <laughs> I bumped into this beautiful park and totally to my surprise, this is a meek park. It seems used to be a, an orchard and um, just very beautiful. I will use this uh, this evening walk to contemplate a little bit and chat with you. How about that? Okay, let's take a look. And this is this beautiful park. And now, now I think this is a city park with uh, used to be uh, an orchard or or a family that is very well established family who has a huge orchard and uh, they have a plum, apricot, peach, prune, but uh, uh, cherries and the bean cherry maybe started from from here uh, and uh, it's so beautiful let's uh, walk here and uh, and just uh, just uh, uh, think and um, and enjoy this scenery so uh, I used to do some live live and then one friend said that uh, uh, in life you are in a rush and there is a lot of confusion. You need to look at the screen and cannot answer questions very relaxed. So it's kind of stressed. And um, also in chat, chat, live chat, there are a lot of uh, kind of uh, same question. So how about we answer question all at the same time and uh, I think that's a good idea we will answer questions at one time and later on if you still have the same question maybe you will add something and we can talk a little bit deeper because every time we our idea change our reflection change, our way of thinking change, we evolve. So, without uh, too much blah blah blah, let's get started. So this one, I just got uh, a request t today about uh, how to put yourself out. The question is about dating. And uh, there is one friend, uh, she's uh, old styled, does not like to do this online dating. So how to, oh, 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 bicycle fell down. Okay, please, okay. Okay, so without this technology how can we make uh, how can we reach to dating to get a good result so to begin with uh, uh, I am not uh, a professional therapist a consultant I'm none of that and um, this is just empty talk. You write to me, I feel it's uh, as a respect I should reply. And if you want to have a, a more detailed or more um, personal one, uh, send me a message through, uh, give me a request through um, Visio. That way you support me, you can help me. But if you are not comfortable to do that, I will do a gen 
generic just to blah 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 about it okay so it's not only about dating it's about our first time our first time put ourselves to the dating market to the dating scene first time put ourselves to the job searching to an interview first time put ourselves into a new class into a new party into a place that we do not know at all we do not know very well what do we do you know in our life in our time we are lucky that we live in a life we live in a time that we have the freedom to choose we do not have to we we do we do not have to to obey other people we are independent person and uh, the selection is bilateral is two sided they are choosing us we are choosing them he is choosing me i am choosing him she is selecting choosing me i am selecting choosing her or him for what gender it is it's a two side thing so you have 50% of right to decide if this is a, this is the thing for you or not to to decide if this is successful or not so it's uh, very important you put yourself totally completely comfortable with your decision how do we put ourselves completely comfortable with our decision that is to be ourselves and uh, not to try to pretend not to uh, cheat not to lie not to push too much of ourselves and once we are the most authentic of ourselves then we are more comfortable and confident with our existence with our being then we are completely honest in this equation now once you are completely honor in this equation you have the right to judge because you did not hide anything there is no need to hide anything i am not talking about your privacy you do not need to say how much you make you do not see need to say what is your previous relationship but your character we need to be completely honest i am a messy person but i do clean up or we are not perfect nobody is perfect right and it is the balance between your imperfection and his or her imperfection and finding the right matching and at the beginning in dating it's always very much about or in job even in job it's very much about feeling you can feel this is right or not i have been to um to job search and uh <laughs> and uh, um i said i used to do 
uh, import export and I said my job and things and that lady very nicely said you are overqualified it's just not the right matching they are choosing a, f- a friendly or nice word to say it but it's not the right matching and there was one time I look for a job to to be a teacher for community college and I was stressed not stressed I was nervous and uh, and went there to talk to the person and I still remember her name Linda now she moved to another city so I can say her name and uh, <clears throat> we started by by chatting and started chatting my background, my passion, why I do it, how I do it. And it's just a very, very natural chat because I know exactly what I am doing. I know exactly what I want. So I put myself on table very plainly and clearly and let her to decide whether this is a, the, a good matching. And we get to the good matching, we get to the good result. I was hired uh, immediately, you know. Uh, it's, it's not a full-time job, it's a part-time job, uh, uh, an hourly teaching job. Of course, it's easy to do, but the point is that when you are honest, when you know what you want, when you know what you have, you are having the upper hand. By hiding, by lying, you lose your upper hand. Once you put yourself very clear, you can decide, this is not mine. Or you can let heaven to decide. Maybe you think that guy is just the perfect, is my dream guy. Or that job is my dream job. That school is my dream school. But it's not you to decide. This time, heaven will decide. Heaven will make the final decision. But you have put all your effort and that is good enough and that is all you can do do i make any sense here okay now i am sitting here and moving around this and chat so what i say is that uh, just uh, think about it when you have a pair of high heel shoes for me, not other people. For me, I wear a pair of high heel shoes. I am not comfortable. So I cannot walk elegantly. But if you say a fashion model wear a pair of a, a flat shoes and she, she has trained everything to walk with high heel shoes and with some of her conditions, then she will not be comfortable with a, a flat shoes. You know, you have to be at the most comfortable of yourself. And uh, once you are, do I make any sense? Once you are comfortable, you have an allure that is uh, unimitatable, irresistible. You will have something that is so authentic. When you are the authentic of yourself, you are very powerful. And uh, if another person does not recognize it, their loss it is their loss it is not your loss if the company do not want you or maybe it's just not the right matching 
do I make any sense? It's nothing about go to a restaurant to, to judge another person, how he treat other people. Yeah, it is, it is, it is also. And, um, and be the best of yourself. Why some people go to restaurant, even in the first date, treat people, treat service people bad? Are they pretending? They are not pretending. Do they know it's bad? It's just that this character is so flawed. Even if they try to cover it up, it just does not cover up. Right? So, uh, be the best of yourself. If you are the person who treat, um, treat uh, service people bad, talk with loud voice and um, and uh, looking at other people not looking at uh, your, your 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 counterpart then you are not qualified for this relationship right so it's not only other people's problem it might be your own problem right we are not perfect and sometimes we see people cannot focus on the on the dating let me just tell you this story i there was one time uh, i substitute one class and i have uh, there was one teacher who had some traffic and could not arrive. And then the principal came to me, Hain, can you substitute for just a couple of minutes? So I went there and I started to tell them a story. Uh, this story I have told um, many times. It's about one person, she greets people. And then uh, she, there was one time she went to, uh, she was locked into a freezer room and uh, it's already finished work nobody noticed but there was one guy the security guy opened it up because he always see this person in the morning to greet and in the evening to say bye bye but that day this person didn't say bye bye only said morning didn't say bye bye so the security looked around at 10 o'clock opened the door of the freezer anyway so i was in the middle of uh, the story and uh, the substitute the, the 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 real teacher i was a substitute the real teacher arrived and he was shocked because every student is opening up the eyes listening to the story why am I good? No, not I'm good. It's just because they are interested and they are totally get the attention. If you do not have, if we do not have the ability to get other people's attention, nobody will listen to us. I do math class, student, some listen, some do not listen. I do um, art class, some listen, some do not listen because they have better way to do it. What can, can we do? You know, you cannot ask other people to pay attention if you do not have the dominance to get their attention. It's a two side, two edge sword. And when it is the right Matthew, you feel it, he feels it. It's, if it is not there, it's just because it's not the right Matthew. Take it easy. Be the best of yourself. And that's all what you can do. And once you are being the very best of yourself, that is enough. You are enough. 
there is just another person, another date, another job, another school, another place. Just enough for you. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do, do do do. Bye bye, friend.